Seriously. What the hell am I looking at right here? What the hell am I looking at right here on a freaking kid's show called Spongebob? Seriously, what, what the bloody hell is this? This is just... This makes me want to vomit looking this. Ugh. Cutie intro. Cutie intro, please. Hey guys, it's me, Disney, Tom and Jerry, The Simpsons, Dookie, and a Magic School Bus Fan 1996 here again. Yep, I was originally going to do this on Tuesday, but due to her, the tropical, tropical storm Isaias, I had to postpone it until na just now. So I am doing this video right now. Sorry if it's a little late. It's because of the tropical storm Isaias. <clears throat> but other than that, here it is. My review slash rant on the splinter. So basically what the plot is, is the Krusty Krab seems to open in an average morning. And Spongebob is, is, is in his cheerful normal self. And he gets the Krabby Patty ready and freshly baked and gets an order of two Krabby Patties plus from, a, from an insult to Squidward. <clears throat> and his excitement had eventually causes him to accidentally throw his spatula into the ceiling and Spongebob tries to get it out And he falls, and he near he barely gets, and he nearly gets injured by scissors and swords. But then SpongeBob was safe until he slip he slipped on he trips on the tartar sauce, and then the farm had, and it caused him to drag his arm into the wooden floor and wrap rams into a small slab that breaks in half that which that causes him to give him a splinter spongebob tries to get it out and then there was a scene where he bites he bites the splinter to get it out but the whole the whole scene causes him to Lose his skin and ah uh, and only and the only thing that's left was a skeleton. What the hell? I mean, wh you really want to show this to your kids? What kind of what kind of show episode is this? That's that's horrifying. <clears throat> and then Spongebob tries to walk and then and then he he tries to walk and then Squidward comes and he says oh my god do you have a splinter and Spongebob's like yes and Squidward's like oh my god this is horrible if, and if Mr. Krabs finds out He'll send you home. And then, what does SpongeBob do? 
I'll give you a hint. He doesn't. He doesn't say cool with it. But what does he do? He freaks out. Yep. SpongeBob literally freaks out. All because if Mr. Krabs sees this, he'll send him home. SpongeBob, it's a freaking splinter. Just call the doctor or somebody. Oh, wait, we'll get to that later on. So, yeah, SpongeBob flips out because if he gets, because he doesn't want to get sent home early. And he begs Squidward to not tell Mr. Krabs. And Squidward's like, no. Oh, hell no. I don't have to tell him. And then he whispers to Spongebob, because he already knows. Spongebob screams. And then, yeah. And after that, he calls Patrick to help him with the splinter. And does it does it make does Patrick make it any better for SpongeBob? No, he doesn't. Instead, he just makes the splinter even worse. What a terrible doctor Patrick is. He made instead of making the splinter better, he just made it even worse. Even for SpongeBob. And then, yeah, how this proves how dumb and arrogant and inconsiderate Patrick Starr is. He doesn't care about anyone but himself. And then Mr. Krabs comes in and he's like, SpongeBob, the, the, it's time for you to show me what you got. And Spongebob tries to hide the splinter. And Mr. Krabs like, and there was a scene where Mr. Kra Krabs was like, did you always have three legs? And Spongebob's like, yes. Really, Spongebob? I never saw you see having three legs. I don't remember that. And then... Spongebob shows Mr. Krabs a splinter, and Mr. Krabs was like, Holy mother of God, that is hideous! That is hideous is right. That is the most hideous thing I've ever seen. It makes me want to vomit after that. And then, Mr. Krabs... <clears throat> tries to, uh... Get... Takes the splinter out of Spongebob's thumb. And, and it seems that confetti had came out. And and Mr. Krabs was like, problem solved. Until a big eruption of uh, this gross thing from his thumb that came out to impact him. Who shields himself with an umbrella. And then his thumb is back to normal. And then Spongebob was relieved and and then he would have given a come and then as Mr. Krabs mo believe, believes that he almost would have given Spongebob workers compensation he Squidward then discover, discovers that he's he could get sent home early but still get paid after injured and then he tends to injure himself with a cash register very brutally in order to get his workers compensation but only to find out that Mr. Krabs had his ship ended two minutes ago and that's basically what the plot is for the entire episode this was a very gruesome episode so so before we jump into the negatives is there anything positive? no so let's jump into the negatives. Then the first thing is that <clears throat> Sp 
SpongeBob had a splinter, right? And he tries to get it out. If he tries to get it out, he then then why did they show a scene where he tries to bite it and then all of a sudden his skin rips off and then he just and then he just out comes out skeleton and only a skeleton had stayed. I mean that doesn't make any sense. He should have called someone for help like and the way that Patrick made the splinter even worse oh my god that was that was dumb of him. He he he's he makes a terrible doctor, Patrick. <clears throat> um, and he's a terrible doctor. He just made he didn't make the splinter better at all. He just made the situation even worse, especially for SpongeBob. And SpongeBob, yes, he flipped out because if he finds out that Mr. Cr if Mr. Krabs finds out about this splinter, he would be sent home early. SpongeBob, you're gonna be fine. Just, 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 just call or ask someone to take it off for you. You don't need to freak out like that. I mean, really. That's really childish of SpongeBob. I mean, seriously, could he just find a real good doctor and have them take good care of him? And the way that they ended, the ending was very stupid. Squidward brutally injuring himself with a cash register. That's horrible. And the way they showed the SpongeBob splinter was very gruesome. And it makes one want to vomit. It was that splinter that that big splinter that Spongebob had was what well, it was the most hideous thing in the kids cartoon. It's that gross. It's hideous. This was the most hideous episode I've ever had to watch. The plot didn't make any sense whatsoever. Spongebob flipping out because if Mr. Krabs finds out he'll be sent home early and Patrick making the situation worse and the hideous splinter part. Oh my god. And the skeleton part of Spongebob when he tries to bite it off. Oh my god. There's so many problems with that episode that could have been fixed, but no, it just had to be done this way. It's rushed and it's it's just a very horrible episode of Spongebob. And yes, Patrick makes a terrible uh, doctor as well, because he doesn't fix the damage he just he just causes the damage to SpongeBob's uh splinter he causes the damage he doesn't fix anything so yeah bottom line this was a very horrible episode so for my final ring for the splinter I'm gonna give this episode a one out of seven horrendous episode and that was my review slash rant on the splinter thanks for watching this video guys make sure you comment like and subscribe to me this is me signing off and I'll see you guys later and have a great weekend and I'll see you guys next time